getting T plus A into the headphone market for me was really uh, the culmination of what I've seen over years growing up myself as someone who was the last generation that still had a CD Walkman from Sony actually. And for many young people in my peer group and in general, uh, headphones had become much more than just a stand-in for loudspeakers, but they became the center of the music systems themselves. It was really important for us to get the headphones right in a sense that they weren't just a, a tag-on product or kind of branding thing, but that they actually worked with what we had been doing for nearly 40 years before that. And that was why we started out with a planar magnetic system as well, because we had done that in the early 80s, before I was born actually, with our loudspeakers. And so we, we really wanted to do that, start out with systems that we knew, that we knew we could deliver the quality we wanted ourselves. That's why the headphones look the way they do, and that's why they're driven by those systems. So the Solitaire P, it's our first headphone. It's also our flagship headphone. It's a planar magnetic headphone. It's an open back design, and a special thing about this is that it's, near, that it's made nearly completely out of aluminum. The speciality about this system is that the membrane is so big that it barely fits into the earpiece. Well, the driver works by a magnetic force, which is spread over the complete membrane. This means you have magnets, which are orientated planar, and you have a lot of leads completely spread over the membrane. All the leads are now moving the membrane completely over the whole surface. This type of system means that we have now a movement of air, which is nearly a planar wave because if you have a little system, which is a dynamic system, you have more like a point source or maybe a circle source. And now you have a planar wave. This means your orientation gets more out of the headphone and now it goes a few meters away, like two or three meters away, which is more the distance of a loudspeaker. So it means you have a very open sounding headphone. You have a very broad soundscape in the headphone. We have a second headphone, which is the Solitaire PSE. The main difference between the P and the PSE are now, we have a different lead material on the membrane, which is now copper. And we also don't use aluminum on the outer shells of the earpiece. We now use a composite material, which is more lightweight. The Solitaire T is in some parts different than the Solitaire P series, because now we have a dynamic system. We are having a closed back system. We designed it smaller for a good home use. You can use it wired, but you can also use it as a wireless system. When we started developing our headphones, we really wanted to make a statement. So on the one hand side, the quality of the material, and on the other side was the performance of the drivers, the sonic performance. The, the Solitaire PSE, on the other hand, was really set up as a more cost-efficient version for us to build, which is why we went for different materials like high-quality composite instead of aluminum. But it was also about bringing the idea and performance and quality of the Solitaire P into a new price category using new materials. And our third headphone now, the Solitaire T, was a very challenging and, and interesting product from a business perspective as well, because we really wanted to bring together the best of two worlds, closed back dynamic headphones and travel ready headphones. In the face of developing a headphone, you have a lot of different tools. You can use tools like measurement system, and you can use tools like listening perception. Every ear is different, so measuring the headphone only gives you one person's idea of listening to it. But if you want to have a real perception, you have to use a different kind of measurement. This is why we use a diffuse field room. Because the diffuse field room gives us a comparison between a room and the headphone itself, so persons can listen to it, and now we have a real perception of the sound. At T plus A, we use up to 50 persons listening to headphones, so we get a very broad picture of what the headphone sounds to persons. For us, quality really means controlling most, if not all, aspects of uh, development and production. And that is why we make, for example, our Solitaire P and PSE products completely in-house here in the factory. We start out with making the driver so that every magnet, every membrane is put together right here in Herford 
by specialists who've spent years sometimes training to really get it right, to know where every screw has to go. And for us, it's the only way to be able to know that the products we ship out are up to our own standards. When we started making our headphones, it was not an educated guess, but it was kind of an experiment. We thought that the technology was great. We knew that the market was developing really well, but we didn't know if people would like the product. And that's something you always face when putting out a new product. But the success of the Solitaire P, PSE, and the phenomenal reaction to the Solitaire T thus far really showed to us that it was a good move and that we want to expand on that. So we're definitely looking into new projects for our headphones to explore new technologies, new ideas of how to use them, what to do. And for us, it was a huge success in terms of business, but also in terms of our culture, because it showed that we could still rejuvenate ourselves after 40 years.